So how's it going all and before we get started I just want to say that this video is sponsored by King's Bounty 2. King's Bounty 2 is the sequel to the legendary first King's Bounty game, with the first King's Bounty game being one of the most iconic representations of the turn-based RPG. So King's Bounty 2 promises to expand on that legendary game with a whole new story, factions, enemies and new features to forge a new adventure in the fantasy world of Antara. King's Bounty 2 is now available on Steam, Xbox One, PS4 and Nintendo Switch right now. So anyway, we're just gonna jump right in. Alright, so I've been playing the game for a bit. I demand to be let into the Citadel. You're not getting in. I'm not gonna let you. Who are you? Yeah, who are you? The Queen's former lady-in-waiting. My son went to the Mage Factory and vanished. Go look for him. And the Crown take action and find him. Go look for him yourself. Uh, she's annoying me now. Anyway, I've been playing the game for a bit. I've just moved on to this new zone. So we're gonna run around, get some side quests, see what this town is all about. I love this part of the game where we're taking control of the character and we're just exploring the town. While you're running around, you can find new items, you can find new quests there's loads of things to find like this silver flask a lantern some gold i'll take all of this the one goal i have right now is i need to build up a better army because the last battle was pretty difficult so i need to build up more troops you've stolen my heart would you like to go for a walk what a scholar a walk well no i love going for walks especially on horseback if the horse is doing it then you're not walking i like his ass i want his ass ancient legend I'm getting experience by exploring. This is great. I have loads of gold, so I need troops. Troops is what I need. And you sell armor, don't you? Yes, you too. You sell good stuff. You sell really good stuff. I don't have nearly enough gold. Immortal's armor, legendary. I don't have enough for that. I don't have enough for King's armor. I don't have enough for robes. Your items are a bit a bit above me at the moment. I only have 5,000 gold and I need that. I have a bunch of treasure I picked up. I'm going to sell that off for now. So let's get a quest going. I want to do some RPG and how are you doing? They're just standing here. Oh, you're not the fella I'm looking for. The quest marker was like looking at you. I was like, the bread man is going to give me a quest of epic proportions. But no, he's just going to stand there and give us bread. I mean, fair play to him. It's a tough old life. Hello. Hello. Are someone just said hello to me. Careful. Oh, here's where the quest is. Oh, it's a book I'm looking for. Oh, okay. Someone once told me. The world is going to roll you. All right, now I can track this quest. Oh, and I can find all the pieces of the book. I don't need to do book sleuthing right now. We might do that later. It's a good quest to have. Okay, does anyone here sell troops? I need troops. Hello, Sargonius. Look at his attire. I love him. He's very upstanding. Okay, you sell healing. Healing's very good. How much is that going to cost me? 300 each? I'll leave it for the moment. If I need spells, I can go back to him. Very alive feeling town. I like the design of it. What are you doing? I'm going for a jog. Oh, you, you're talking to him. Why are the floors still dirty? It's not my fault, my lady. There's a reason the floors are dirty. It's because we're outside. There's no water in the well. Excuses. There's water there, you can use that. Oh, you, you sell troops? Oh, yes, I need you. Dexter, my man. Hello, my man, how you doing? Okay, so as you can see, I only have three units at the moment because the last battle was a bit of a tough one. So I need more spearmen, if you please. I'll take two of them. So now I have five of five spearmen. Okay, I'll take some dogs because I like having dogs. Dogs are great. I'll take all the dogs you have. Okay, I'll take some archers. Why not? I'll buy five of them, which is a thousand. Because I'm buying five at once. And I'll buy some uh, swordsmen. Why not? I'll take some swordsmen. Alright, we are doing better now. We have some preparation now if a random battle just starts. You have a quest. What do you want? Good afternoon. Are you very polite? Could you direct me to the refugee camp, please? Refugee camp? <laughs> Do I look like someone who gives a fig about such trifles? Gives a fig? It sounds like me trying not to swear on YouTube. Do you think I give a fig? Me? I'm in charge of the cisterns and that blasted aqueduct. You're a medieval plumber. That's great. It's old and magical to boot. Few people even understand how it works. I thought this master who studied at the mage school would fix things. But that idiot Eugene hasn't been any help at all. It's been eight days already. The reserves are running low. The cisterns will be empty in a week! What can that lazy bum be thinking? Alright, we have a new quest. Visit the first tower of the aqueduct. Are we gonna find a bit of combat if we might? This place is huge. Jeez, look the size of this. Very expensive. Alright, let's go to the first tower. We might encounter something cool there. This place is still filthy. I mean, it is dirt roads. There's not much you can do about it. Get a broom and get to work. I'm gonna follow this tower quest. Why not? I could just leave. Alright. I'm out of here. I mean, look at these environments. This is really impressive. It looks well. And we're on the outskirts of town. 
This game has really, really opened up. I do have a horse, actually. Can I summon my horse now? Oh, we have a horse. Get on the horse. I like games that have a summon horse feature. Ah, oh, here we go. Now we're moving with style. I probably could have summoned the horse in the town, but look. Oh, this is great. I love horses and games. This is brilliant. All right, so there's the aqueduct tower. I imagine we're going to find something... Oh no. Oh, we've encountered something. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> we've encountered our first fight. I went past one of the barriers. All right, we're going into our first fight. What are we fighting? We're fighting dogs. We're fighting bears. We're fighting wolves. And more dogs. This might not go well, but look, we're going to try. Okay, so we're getting into some combat now. We'll see now how this goes because the bears could be a bit tough. Okay, so as we're starting off, I can position all my troops. Let's see, I want you to go... If you're archers, I want you to kind of hang back. But I also want you to get a good view to be able to hit the enemies in front of us. I'm going to keep you all where you are. I think that's fine. We're going to start the fight. Okay, here come the dogs straight away. Come on, spearmen, you can defend. They do a lot of damage. Oh, we just took out the pile of dogs. We might actually be okay. We're not doing too badly. We took out those dogs kind of quick. I love these kind of strategy games with the hexagonal. I really like it a lot. It's very intuitive. Okay, we can control the dogs. Um, What I might do is we might go for just the dogs here. And then I can use all the soldiers to take on the bears. Because bears are pretty tough. They're, they're a tough old enemy. Here's our main fella just standing on the side watching. I think these troops have a special ability. Okay, so we have the archer selected and I have flaming arrows. So if I... Okay, so can we use flaming arrows on the bears? We're gonna need it. Go on, archers. Oh, hey, we're doing good damage. That's the end of their turn. We have our swordsmen. I guess our swordsmen can just take on this one poor dog on his own. I wonder who's gonna win. <laughs> Down they go, all the lads, they did a good job. They'll want some points after that, taking down the one dog. Let's fight the rest of these dogs here. Okay, we have plenty of troops to take on the bears, but bears can be pretty tough. So uh, we'll see how we do, we'll see how we do. The bears in the big blue house are gonna be a problem. Okay, it's their turn now, I believe. Oh, and they're taking burning damage from the archers. Yeah, that's a very good ability to have. Right, right, right. Oh, there's one dog alive. All right, take him down, dogs. Oh, there's two alive. It's just dogs against dogs. It's a dog eat world. I'm going to use the archers again on the bears. We already used flaming arrows, so we can't use it again. Not for the moment. All right, you know what, swordsmen? Just go for it. See how you do. Oh, uh, one of them's down. Oh, great. We're not doing too badly. I did have a lot of troops, to be fair. You could take out that last dog. Can he? I'm sure he can. The two spearmen. Yeah, they're doing not too bad now. Might as well move up ahead. Oh, we got one bear down. There's one bear standing. I'm just glad I'm doing a fight during a recording that I'm actually winning against. There were a few early fights I was having trouble with, but it is really rewarding to figure out and to overcome the challenge of it. All right, come on, archers. You can do it. I can move the archers further ahead now if I want, so I might as well get better accuracy. All right, end their turn. Okay, spearmen, you can do it. You can take out the bear. There's a lot of health they do. See, this is why the bears are so tough in the early game, because they have so much health. Okay, round four. I might need to go buy more troops. Okay, we won. We won. All right, we're not doing too bad now. So after the end of combat, we can heal all our troops for gold. We got some gold rewards. I got 174 gold. We got some debuffs on enemy units. And I got some mana that we can use to upgrade spells. That's brilliant. We like mana here. We're, we're a mana positive channel here. All right, I'm going to heal up my dogs. Oh, the spearmen. Ripper Rooney. Will they get a proper burial? Probably not. We're moving on. We're moving on quick. I have some undead in reserves. I have some ghouls and skeletons. They're just here. They're just chilling. We have some undead now if we need them. Great. I'm going to keep the undead there. Why not? Okay, I'm going to need to go back quickly and get more units where are you horsey there is the horse can i bring the horse into town horse him into town why don't you this is really peaceful and serene the combat is really fun all right back into the town i don't have much gold so i'll have to be careful with how many troops i can actually buy okay you're selling some i can actually bring the horse into town that's brilliant i like that we like those mechanics here how are you doing kurt do you sell mages i imagine you do i want some mages mages are good because they have healing abilities give me mages oh i don't want these slots okay well i think the ghouls have to go because i only have one We'll keep one ghoul, why not? Okay, can I get some mages now? 1200 for five mages? Okay, we have a bit of an army now. We have something. <laughs> we have some mages, some soldiers, and a ghoul. What kind of other party would you want, to be fair? Okay, let's go back out. Very Romanesque. It's probably what it's based on, to be fair. All right, how am I going to get to this tower? Oh, okay, there's some winding roads I can go down. Oh, there's more enemies here. All right, let's see how we do. Strange to see so many undead roaming around in the light of day. There's a lot of undead. I have one undead with me. Let's see how we do against these fellas. The undead are very well dressed, to be fair. They're also outnumbering me by a lot. We'll see how we do. <laughs> 
I really need to get into the old strategic zone. Uh, let's see. Dogs, I'm gonna move you over to the left. Mages, I need to move you back. Okay, if I move the mages here... See, there's enemies right there. I might move the mages over here so they can get at these fellas. Might be a risky move, but look, I'm gonna go with it. I'm an obstinate man. Let's go with that for now. Let's see how we do. Oh, there's more soldiers back here. I didn't see them. Oops. These guys are too far away for the dogs to go towards. All right, dogs, just, just fight them. Clear out these ghouls. Or undead. Look for all ghouls to be. Oh, here's our one ghoul against all two of them. Let's see how he does. Oh, he's holding up well. Oh, see, there's a ton of units here. All my archers are poisoned now. Great. I have one healing scroll. I probably should have bought more. J use it on the archers. I don't want them all gone. So we have abilities that our hero can use. The mages also have healing, so I have to keep that in mind. But for now, mages against the zombie archers. Go for it. I can move the mages back if I want. I'm gonna move them back here. Why not? Retreat. Oh, they have so many troops moving up. This could be a huge... Look at all them. Okay, this could be a problem. We might lose. Is that my one ghoul? Go for it. Go for it, bud. You can do it. You can take out your own kind. All right, we took them down. Here's all the units coming up. That could be a problem. We could be a bit over our head here. Okay, take out these fellas. Use your flaming arrows. Do some damage instead of just standing there getting poisoned. Oh no, that did barely any damage. Okay. Come on, archers. You can take out the fellas in front of you. We can get some damage against them. Oh, they have a lot of health. My mages are too close that I don't think they can cast spells if they're standing right next to them. So look, you'll just have to charge in with your staffs. Oh uh, yeah, two of my mages are now dead because of that move. That's fantastic. I need all the troops I can get. Oh, there's more troops up this way? Oh no, I thought we were actually doing okay, but there's a lot of troops around. Yeah, we're getting completely surrounded. All right, ghoul, you can take out one of them, maybe. He might go down. Yeah, he wasn't long for this world, the poor fella. Rip, ghoul. I'm gonna tough it out as long as I can. Dogs, you can go for the zombies right ahead of us. Let's see, yeah, the zombies have a better chance of doing more damage, so we might as well take them down anyway. Okay, we got one of them down. That's something. I'm gonna get him to do some power strikes against these zombies, see if I can get them down. Even if I lose, I put up a good fight. Okay, we got the last one down. There's still a lot of troops. There's a lot of troops around. Come on, dogs, you can do all right. Okay, one of our dogs in there dead. Oh, there's a lot of troops. We're getting surrounded. Well, the one dog against the three of them. You can do it, bud. You can do it. Yeah, you got one of them down. Yeah, I think this fight is a lost cause. Look, we gave it our best shot. I need to get stronger is what we need to do. See what I mean? There's a lot of strategy to this. Just defend, defend your spot. Just defend your ground. Kick him away. All right, one win, one loss. I need to get some better units. Maybe find an easier few battles to grind up on. Yeah, I have only two units left. You could do one more shot, pal. You can do it. Yeah, down he goes, great. I'm showing off my strategy skills in bounds. I think what I might do is just follow the main quest for the moment, see what we have to do. I have to find a conspirator's house in the marketplace. We're gonna try that now. All right, here's the conspirator's house. Let's see what's going on here. Hello, you're a big Hulk and fecker. How are you doing? You, stay where you are. I like your slick hair. The way is open to Knights of the Guard only. I come from Counselor Montier. What's going on here? Are you Chief of the Guards? The guard's job is to catch pickpockets and keep the road clear of loiterers. I am a knight of the Royal Guard. A search is underway. We received word that some traitors are holed up here. The same villains who conspired to attack the Batil gates. No one was found in the house or yard. I'm waiting on one more squad to report. They went to investigate the cellar. Strangely... I've had no work from them for quite a while. Well, there's something going on in the cellar. Why don't we go take a look for your missing soldiers? Well, since the king's counselor sent you, you may pass. Does that mean I have to go in alone? My orders from the legate of the royal guard, Horus, are to stay here. Yeah, he's not gonna come. Who would have guessed? With that kind of hairstyle, I wasn't expecting you to be courageous, exactly. All right, I'm going in. What are you gonna do? Man the ground? You might as well. Anyway, I'm gonna do your work. By now, he's very talkative. All right, we're finding something in the barrels. There's some arrowheads, a bell, and some gold. We can sell off some of that stuff if we need to. Oh, here's a lever we can use. Oh, there's a secret here. Oh, we're gonna encounter something strange here. What are we gonna encounter here? A small pot. 
I'll take it with me in case I want some tea along the way. Can't start a journey without some tea. Might as well just stop here in this dang cave and just start cooking. Now that's what I call a cellar. I know, you can keep tons of wine down here, I imagine. Look at all this. Oh, we're gonna encounter something here. I have a bit of an army still behind me, so hopefully I have enough units to get through whatever this place is gonna throw at me. How you doing, Tablet? Tablet's doing grand. See, like, there's loads of storytelling in the environments. You can read through lore, there's tablets around, there's books and everything. Just a great bit of world building. Are you the missing soldier? Have you been... Possessed. I think he has been. Well, this place doesn't look foreboding at all. Let's go take a look around. What are you fiddling with? This cursed thing won't open. Just press harder. Not much. Pay oh, <laughs> the skeletons are back alive. Spooky, scary. That would terrify me if I saw a skeleton come back to life. Come It'd on. scare anyone. I'm here, you bony bastard. I thought he was gonna do well, and <laughs> he just shot in the back. So we have some skeletons here. Let's see how we do against them. Here we go. Okay, we're kind of outnumbering them at the moment. We're not. We'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. We might be okay against these fellas. It could be a tough fight, boss. Look, I want to persevere. I want to persevere. I want to persevere. All right. Is there any positionings I want to change? Mages are a bit out in the open. Can I move the mages? I want to move them back so they can cast spells from a distance. Uh, there's archers here. There's the one ghoul. The one ghoul can just take on these three fellows right here. Why not? Let's start. Let's see how we do. Okay, so we have the dogs. I can get the dogs to fight the giant skeleton and get him down. I might get the dogs actually to fight these zombies on the right side and let these troops deal with these fellows up ahead. Bloody bite. Oh, they have immunity to bleeding. Just attack them normally then. Okay, we got one of them down. That's something. Okay, we're on to the archers now. Might do some flaming arrows against their skeletons. Or oh, burning. Because they're skeletons. Okay, the mages now. Who do I want to go for for the mages? The dogs can deal with the zombies there. Okay, mages, you can go for the skeletons that are right here. I knocked most of them down. Not doing too badly now. Mages, you can stay where you are. You're in a good position. Okay, here's our troops. I might as well get them attacking these skeletons right here just to whittle them down. There's the giant skeleton. The giant skeleton could be a problem. Oh, we took down that one skeleton. Okay, we're doing better now. Oh, my dogs are holding up well. Okay, we might have this. We might have this in the bag. Uh oh, well the giant skeleton is actually doing a lot of damage, so uh, could be an issue. Okay, singular ghoul, you can go up against the giant skeleton and see how you do. Have a go, on, mate, I'm just sending you out to be killed, I'm sorry. 53 physical damage, oh not bad, he's dead, he's gone. He was a valued member of the party, and now he's just gone. Alright dogs, finish him off. It's just four against one, I feel kind of bad, but look, someone has to kill him. And the dogs can run back over here, so they're ready for their next turn. Alright, the archers. Uh, there's only one swordsman here? Uh oh, that's an issue. Uh, let's see, let's see. Go for the skeleton army here. This could actually get pretty tough near the end. I might actually heal this one lone swordsman. Why not? I'll give you a bit of a boost, buddy. Give you more health. Okay, mages, just go for the big giant skeleton. He has a lot of health. Alright, buddy. It's just you, I'm sorry. He held his own. All right, walk back. Oh no. I tried to move back and the skeletons just completely killed me. Yeah, because I'm in the control zone. If you try to move back in that zone, they'll just attack you. Skeletons are charging forward. Dogs can go for the skeletons. All right, mages. Okay, now it's their turn. Come on, dogs. You can hold your ground, right? Oh dear. Oh, here comes the big fella. Just take down the skeletons here. Please take him down. Oh no. Archers, take him down. I have no idea how this is gonna go. Probably not well. Alright, mages, can you attack him from there? I think they can. Hopefully. Alright, skeleton, I don't think you're long for this world, but yeah, boy, now. His health is only halfway down. Alright, archers, just go for him. You're probably not gonna do much, but. Oh, they were all taken out so easily. Okay, mages. Now run back, run back, run back, keep running back, keep running back. Oh, he's going for the dogs! No, not my dogs! He just took out my dogs straight away. Mages, if you can hold your ground, I'll be so happy with you. They might be able to, they might be able to. Okay, move back again. Mages, you're my saving grace here. Mages! Nothing of it. Nothing of it. Victory! What a note to end on! That was King's Bounty 2. We had two victories and one defeat, but look, I'll take the victory! What do I get? Warrior's Belt, 
5 mana, 600 gold. That was a good look at King's Bounty too. It's a really fun game. I've been enjoying checking it out. The strategic combat is very rewarding. It does take a bit of strategy. We got through that battle. I did lose one, but look, I got through the other two. So look, I think I did okay. Thank you all for watching. Cheers to King's Bounty 2 for sponsoring the video. And yeah, I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers for watching.